Welcome to my Chaos Elemental Guide. First off, you want to be in Legacy. To do so, open up the main action bar, right click the cog, and put Legacy Mode. Next up, open your settings. Go under Gameplay and General. Go to Inventory and scroll down. Where it says destroy empty bowls when eating, uncheck it. When it says pie dishes, uncheck it. The reason for those two items is while you're eating the summer pie or stews, after you eat it, it will leave the empty pie dish or the bowl. The Chaos Elemental removes all your armor and puts in your inventory if you have space. If your inventory is full, you will keep wearing it. Now the armor I suggest will be a Dragon Helm, which is about 60k, Dragon Plate Legs, which is about 160k, a Magic Cape, or any 99 skill cape, or a Cape of the Legends, and a Main Hand Blade of Nynormary. You can bring an Enhanced Excalibur, but keep in mind since this is the Wilderness, if you die, you will need to get this back from the Lady of the Lake. And safely bring overload, bring one super prayer, restore some sharks, and then for your prayer, make sure to have protect item on. If you do have 92 slayer, uh, 92 prayer, you can soul split, but you will need more prayer potions. Now to get there, open up the community center, go to group system, where it says raids and elite dungeon, click it, go to the dragon king laboratory, and then view selected. Join the queue. If there is zero matches found, you'll be good. If there is one, you may need to leave the group. So, by doing so, you can just leave and then join another queue. Once that is done, ready up. And then hit complete group. Hit option 1. Now, before you do anything else, click on the little hands to toggle the matchmaking. Hit option yes. And then ready up again. And then this time, just close out the window. Now keep in mind, this is the wilderness, so only bring what you are willing to risk. You will be in the level 51 wilderness. From here, you'll want to go north, and then go west by the rogue's castle. This is much closer than using the Arduin lever or the Edgeville lever. The lever is 139 tiles away from the Chaos Elemental. From where we teleport it, you are 132 tiles away. Enter the wilderness. The Chaos Elemental hits with all three styles. Make sure to overload. Turn on your prayer. And then get ready to find the Chaos Elemental and attack it. It will teleport you randomly, which can be a pain, 
so I have auto retaliate on if you do not have the blade of Nat Ninoria you can use Goliath gloves from Dominion Tower but that has a lot higher requirements and quests Once you kill him, he'll drop a lot of random items. You can eat your whole food and then pick up some items. Stay by this rock and kill the next one. Overload, you will always have protect item on. If you are low in health, you can use soul split for a few kills and then make sure to turn it off. Now, let's say that you're running low out of food in inventory space, kill this wolf. If you have the Bone Crusher active, you will need to disable the Wolf Bone so it will drop 2 items per wolf. There is a rare occasion that it will drop a Gold Charm. the reasons why you want to kill the Chaos Elemental is because if you are an Iron Man, this is a very good source of Chaos Runes. In an hour's worth, I was able to get 5.3 thousand Chaos Runes, along with about 25 Sardom and Brew Flask 2 doses. They were new vials. Let's say you get PK'd. Since you're in Legacy, honestly, just let yourself die. As you can see, I am dead. Now, do not worry because the Overload will have been kept. Equip all your items, teleport back to the Dragonkin. Make sure to unready it. And then ready up again. Go to the bank and get some more food. Quickly run back to where you died. If you have area loot, it will be extremely advised for it. Once you see where you died, loot your stuff, and if you notice, my Holy Overload Potion is on the floor. So I'll use Area Loot to pick everything up. And then just go back to killing the Chaos Elemental. You have about a minute to get certain untradeables such as the Holy Overload, possibly the Slayer Mask, the Void Knight Armor, but I don't suggest it in case you take longer than a minute. Sometimes the PKers will camp 
to where you were last, so you just have to keep an eye on that. Now as you see I have low health, I'm going to eat my sharks, and then pick up the loot. Now if I did not get sharks, I would have ate one summer pie of each, so it still leaves half. If you enabled it to leave just a pie, it will leave it like so in the inventory. This is to keep your inventory at the max so the Chaos Elemental does not remove all of your armor. There is a chance to get the Chaos Elemental pet. If you die with the Ribs of Chaos, you will need to re-get the item again. So I advise to immediately claim the pet. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.